morning guys happy tuesday i'm getting ready for my day i'm very excited because today i'm going for my plastic surgery consult y'all i've been talking about it for years my longtime time toenets already know this i've always planned on getting plastic surgery at the age of 40 and i'm turning 40 this year so i'm going to go for my consult today i have been researching for pretty much half of my life I've always been obsessed with plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery. To me, I think it's an art form. It's a field I wish I could have gotten into, but I'm not smart enough for medical school. <laughs> Nor do I have the patience, even if I was. It's something that I've always wanted to experience. So that is the why, because I know I will get it. Why do I want it? Um, that's why, because I think it's an art form and I think I'm absolutely gorgeous. I would love to fine tune that and enhance that and bring it out even more. Um, I am aware of the fact that I don't need plastic surgery. Nobody does. That's why it's elective. And that's why I've been very intentional with my words and telling you guys that I want it. The procedure I'm interested in is liposuction and fat transfer, um, also known as a BBL. And the doctor I'm going to is Dr. Martin Eugenberg of the Toronto Plastic Surgery Institute. He's located in downtown Toronto, and he's fondly referred to as Dr. Six. Um, Six is the nickname of Toronto. We have six boroughs here. I follow him on all his platforms. He takes a more educational approach to his um, social media, which I really love and makes me super comfortable and confident um, in the both the procedure and his skill. So I also want to talk about the why don't I just comments because I see them all the time. Like I said, I have been researching this for years, so I've watched literally thousands of videos. And I often see the comment, why don't you just, <laughs> why don't you just diet and exercise? Why don't you just go to the gym? Why don't you just do squats? So I want to answer those questions. So your body can only do via diet and exercise what you are genetically capable of doing. Everybody is born with a certain number of fat cells, a genetically predetermined number of fat cells. Nothing you can do about that. That's just the number of fat cells you have. So what happens to those fat cells when you lose weight through diet and healthy eating habits? If you lose 20 pounds, let's say, from changing your diet, clean eating, etc., what happens to those fat cells? Do they go away? No. If you lose 20 pounds, doing it the quote unquote right way, you still have the exact number of fat cells in your body in the exact same spot they always were. What happens to your fat cells is they shrink when you lose weight that way. So what happens when you gain the weight back? You're back to square one. Nothing actually changes in the number of fat cells or the location of the fat cells. You store fat where you store fat based on your lineage. So what happens to fat cells when you get liposuction? Let's say you lose 20 pounds of fat during liposuction, what happens? They're removed from your body, point blank, period. So now you're 20 pounds lighter, however, you also have less fat cells. So if the following year you gain those 20 pounds back, what happens? You're gonna gain it elsewhere in the remaining fat cells that you have in your body, thereby actually changing the way you store fat, the location you store fat, and how you gain and lose weight. Okay, the second question I see often people ask is, why don't you just do squats? <laughs> so what are you actually doing to your body when you go to the gym and do squats, aka weight training? You're building muscle. What happens when you get a BBL? You're transferring fat. Fat and muscle are completely different, which obviously means that you're gonna have completely different results. If you squeeze somebody's arm who is 300 pounds overweight, it's gonna feel a lot different than if you squeeze somebody's arms who is a 300 pound bodybuilder, right? Fat and, and muscle feel different. They move different, and to act like they're the same thing is really, I mean, kind of absurd. So when you go to the gym and you do squats, you're building muscle in your gluteus maximus. And for those of you who have a already ample and fatty 
um, derriere, that is great for you because what you're doing is you're building the base of muscle underneath the fat, thereby giving you a lift and making that fat look lifted and you know more prominent. If you don't already have that body tissue there, you are just going to end up with a firmer muscular ass. And I have actually transformed my body twice in my life via the gym, once in my early 20s and once in my early 30s. So I'm already aware of my body's capabilities, what I'm able to achieve genetically with my composition. Now that that is out the way, if you are still interested, come on, let's go to my consult. I'm very excited. I'm not skinny, but I love the look of skinny BBLs. Right. So, so you just want to skinny. So I'm yeah. looking for just like more sculpting. You are you are actually, you know, you know, technically you qualify for that. So we'll, yeah. we'll look at you. Okay. Yeah. I do too. I think that he does too because he can get a better, I think a better curve. Yeah. Because True. he can only take out so much at once. So the closer he gets, I'm right in, I think the better curve you'll get, which okay. is really what you want, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's look at you, take pictures of you, and then um, I'll be right back. How do so you excited, feel? Huh? How do you feel after that? Good. Hey. Yeah, she just took pictures. Yeah, I just did my before. Hey. Oh, that's <laughs> so exciting. Yeah. Pictures of my yeah. It's happening, yes. Yeah. You remember what you look like before. Some people forget. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. It's crazy. Because you have that nice tight skin, you're not going to see a huge difference in the volume. If we take away your love handles and bra holes and really bring in your waist, you get the illusion of a bigger rounder butt yeah. without the cost and risk of fat transfer. Mm -hmm. It's something to think about only because you said you don't want it. Yeah, and the thing thing would be easier to. And the other thing is um, turn it around again. Like you have a nice size bum. Beautiful. What what you what we want to get rid of is this. Yeah. Right? For sure. That's gonna make it gorgeous. Especially when you're so emphatic about not a big bum. Yeah. I'll tell you what I like about no fat transfer. Not only it's gonna be forty five hundred dollars less, yeah. but when we add fat we have to give you an IV block mm -hmm. right here, which you will have, and we keep you in the general vicinity for two weeks where we keep a really close eye on you because infection is much more of a risk when we transfer fat. Mm -hmm. um, no fitting for at least two weeks. Where with the Lipo 360, we can, um, you can really go back to work into life as soon as you're feeling better. I did think about that. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna give me well, enough I, of What I worry about for young women like you is that once we remove this fat, it's gone. Yeah. So I don't want you to regret it. You know, right. So really think about it, but for you it's a great option. Okay. It really is. Okay. You've, and you've got a great bum. Let's get really knock this out of the park. Yeah. We'll just okay. curve that, suck that, get all this in, get a good faha. Yeah. And back to work in like three days. <laughs> okay. okay, I think I'm okay with that. I'm comfortable with that. I'll tell you. It's a lot, and not that BBL, we all, you're going to read, all surgery has risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. But Brazilian butt lift, because we're taking fat and transferring it, there are increased risks, mm -hmm. like infection and fat embolism and stuff, which you're not going to. Right. Really all right. I'm excited for you whenever I have a great plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm excited that you're excited. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime there's less risk or less recovery or less money, I feel really good about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is good all around. Yeah, all yeah. around. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You guys have been amazing. Oh my gosh, you guys have. Great team. Bye. Thank you. Yes. All right, let's talk about it. What do you think? Okay, I'm into it. If I'm being Are honest. you into it? Okay. Yeah. And here's my reasoning, because when she's telling you that your skin is too tight, like you're not gonna, you're not gonna, no result is gonna come that you're expecting. You know, she's yeah. telling you what is gonna happen. Don't waste your money for that. Yeah. You know. But I think this is really gonna work. Like the way that she's explaining it, I think it's really gonna work. It, yeah. Okay. And this price, I'm happy with. I'm this happy is a good with the price. So I think I think I'm gonna go with just Lipo 360, guys, instead of the plus fat transfer. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Hey. I'm excited about this it. This is so fun. <laughs> I guess it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Are yeah. you disappointed? No, I'm not disappointed. But like, cause the cause she keeps emphasizing like, um. She doesn't want me to be disappointed once the fat's gone. Because yeah. once the fat cells are gone, you can't it doesn't get come back, back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means I can't decide later that, that you want to be real, yeah. yeah. So that's why she's like, make sure you're Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, for sure. But the fact that she also emphasized that my skin is too tight to take yeah. fat yeah. that I don't want there I don't want to waste my money anyway. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. it, because it they could all die if the fat cells are mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So yeah, your body can only do so much. Yep. Like your how your genetics are set up, right? So yeah. if that's what my skin is saying then that's what my skin says. So. Mm.